welcome back. Um, I love the video I'm going to show you today. It is one of my favorite cocktails, hands down, any time of year. Um, it goes by many names. So we could call this the Black Widow, Black Magic, Witch's Brew, Voodoo, love potion whatever you want to call it um give it a spooky name serve it up to your guest it will be a hit i promise um what makes this a little different from the average cocktail is that it is sugar free or there's no added sugar there is natural sugars and blackberries but i have not added any sugar to this so it's a really really good low carb low sugar cocktail um for those of us that are watching that in our diet and it is just as good if not better than uh the cocktail that has the normal amount of sugar in it or the uh non-sugar alternative i should say oh my god you guys that is so good mm -mm -mm. what kind of spooky name would you give this just for the sake of the video i'm gonna call it the black widow um but yeah call it Vampire blood, um, witch's blood, it doesn't matter. What matters is the flavor and the flavor is delicious. So I hope you guys enjoy this um, series, the spooky season series. I'm gonna be doing it for all of October pretty much. So no matter what I make uh, and post on this channel, it will be something sort of fall or Halloween related. And um, this drink is great if you aren't a fan of a fan of apple cider or pumpkin flavored drinks because it has neither of those in it. Um, and none of those spices are in this drink. So there's no cinnamon or anything like that. It is so easy. Um, follow along, let me know if you make it and let me know what you think. Okay, you guys, so for today's recipe, you are going to need a blender or food processor, a glass of your choice, a lemon, or you can sub a lime, um, blackberries, you're gonna need a half a cup for this recipe, tequila, sugar of your choice. I'm gonna be using Splendid today. And the optional things are bitters. I add bitters to almost all my cocktails. Um, another optional thing will be uh, to make the spooky eyeballs will be lychees and blueberries. And then another thing you're going to need is a strainer. So I like to use that fine mesh strainer. You can also use one of these. It comes with a lot of cocktail kits. But you will need a strainer because the puree is going to be pretty thick and we want it um, thin for the drink. So anyway, um, that's all you need and we're gonna get started on the sugar syrup first. Okay, you guys, simple syrup, if you have never made it before, is extremely easy. It's literally just a one-to-one -one ratio of boiling water and your sweetener of choice. Today I'm using Splenda. Um, so get the water boiling and then for simple syrup made with artificial sweetener, I actually prefer to turn off the um the heat before adding the sugar so we're just going to do that and then now i'm going to add the sugar and then just stir and let dissolve and you'll have simple syrup started on making the drink so I have measured out a half cup of delicious blackberries um, and we're gonna blend these up and we are going to blend these with our simple syrup okay and so for the simple syrup amount it's going to be the same as the blackberries a half cup very easy to remember Perfect. Now you might want to keep um, an extra 
blackberry or two. Don't blend all of them because we'll use one as a pretty little garnish when we're done with this. Okay. Now you want this really liquefied. You don't want any chunks left, so blend it for as long as you have to. Blueberries are pretty, uh, sorry, blackberries are pretty soft, so they blend up pretty easily. So there's our puree, super easy. Now what we're going to do is um, fill up a shaker filled with ice. Oops. Whoopsie daisy. And we are going to pour the puree into the shaker. And then what we're going to do is take that lemon we're gonna cut it in half. So we're going to use the juice from one half. I just, I don't know where I put my knife. So I will be right back. <laughs> okay, you guys, crisis averted. I have the knife. And so now you're gonna cut this beautiful Meyer, I have a Meyer lemon here, that's why it's so orange. These are much sweeter than regular lemons, but a regular lemon will be perfect too. You just want some sort of tart element, so you guys can use a lime as well. Key limes, regular Persian limes, whatever citrus you have on hand. I feel like blackberry goes with almost every type of citrus. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that juice. I love having a citrus press, it's so much easier. So you're going to squeeze that in with our puree. And the next step will be adding our tequila. You guys, don't be afraid of using a different um, alcohol. I just really like tequila. Um, but you can use vodka, gin, use whatever you have on hand. Even bourbon would be really tasty. Okay, so we are doing two ounces of the tequila this little shot glass is roughly one and a half ounces so we're gonna do one and a half of these we are almost almost finished the optional ingredient that i showed you guys was bitters it can be whatever bitters you want this is page odds um i'm sure i'm butchering that name there's uh, also the classic Angostura bitters. Um, the Angostura, I feel like, is a little more, I know this is gonna sound weird, but I feel like it has more of like a dusty flavor than this one. So if you guys like old fashions, that's what they use in an old fashioned. Um, Peshads, I'm actually not sure exactly what the difference is. Um, I know I purchased this for a specific, a specific drink, I just don't remember which one it was. Um, but you can use whatever. I also have these little Woodford Reserve bitters. This one's chocolate. I have a cherry and orange. It's just going to add a little bit of um, a complex element to it. It's going to give it a little bit more depth. So if you don't have it, this cocktail is still going to be delicious without it. But I'm going to um, add two dashes. Okay. So we're gonna shake this up, we're gonna strain it, and then I'm going to show you uh, an optional ingredient to add. And the optional ingredient is going to be the eyeball using the lychee and the blueberry, just to give it kind of a spooky Halloween feel. But since it does nothing for the flavor really, unless you're going to eat the lychee, um, you can omit that, that's perfectly fine. So we are going to Shake this up until it's nice and cold. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is strain it. I'm going to use, preferably a smaller one would be ideal, but I don't have a smaller one, so this is gonna have to do. 
oops, a little bit messy. No worries on that. We can always clean it up afterwards. The puree is very, very thick, but that's what we want. We want a lot of that blackberry flavor in there. It is looking so tasty and bloody. Okay, I need a little bit more. Okay, just sort of tap the strainer just to move on and move it along here. It's a lot of um, blackberry skin as well as seeds. So there's really a lot to strain out. It's such a beautiful color for fall. Oh, pro tip, keep a bowl nearby. I have a bowl down here that you guys can't see. It's just out of shot. That way you have somewhere to put this and you're not just putting it directly on your furniture. Okay, that is good. You don't really wanna fill it up all the way if you end up doing the eyeball because then it's going to overflow. So anyway, I'm going to add my cute little blackberry here. Actually, it'd be easier to just cut a little notch in there. And I am going to show you the uh, cocktail with and without the eyeball so you can see the difference. Okay, guys, here is the drink with the spooky eyeball in it. Um, so that is a lychee. I got my lychees from an Asian grocery store. If you don't have one of those nearby, I would get it from Amazon. I will post the link in the description. They're actually really delicious. If you've never had a lychee before, the flavor is really hard to describe, but it's very subtly sweet and kind of almost floral. I think they're fantastic, even canned. Um, the texture is oddly enough what I would imagine <laughs> an eyeball texture to be. It's kind of gelatinous, maybe not gelatinous so much as just kind of like um, slightly mushy with a little bit of chew. Someone actually described it recently and I think it's perfect. Um, in a video I watched, it was um, a Whiskey Tribe, I think it's called. They said it reminded them of a scallop. Oh my gosh, did it just sink? Okay, anyway, you guys, so the reason it's in a rocks glass is because when I tried to put the eyeball in the coop, it just sunk to the bottom and as you can see it just did that here just now so what you want to do is right before you serve it if you like the eyeball thing just put it in right before you serve it um but you can just leave it out look at how beautiful this drink is 